morning, Foley. It's so good to see you. Happy Sunday to you. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of fun things, and I first off want to say thank you so very much to any new subscribers who have decided to jump onto my very small channel my, or page, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I, I love doing Dollar Trees unedited, baby. I love doing them, and I do them every Sunday. It's my thing, and um, ever so often, I'll throw something else up, but 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a Dollar Tree haul on a Sunday coming directly to you from Placerville, California, which is a very small town, and I get creative with my products at Dollar Tree here because we don't get what everybody else gets. We, we, we're we pretty... Like if you go back five years is what we get at Dollar Tree and we get really excited when we get the new stuff. So there you go. If you're new to my channel and you would be so kind as to like, share and subscribe, I'd be so grateful for that. Um, if you like Dollar Tree hauls, I put them up every Sunday unedited and I, I would love to have you on board. So with that being said, let's get started. I want to start out with uh, some cleaning products. Now, I found this fantastic big, big, they say you get 25% more ultra shine citrus scented dish detergent. So dishwasher detergent. This is great. We're on a stiff budget. My stores in this small town have gone through the roof. And I am trying out all the Dollar Tree products. So I'm going to try this powder out. I've been trying their pods. They're fantastic, but we ran out. So when I went back, they didn't have any more. They were all picked over. So I found this. And I know this has been around for years at the Dollar Tree off and on. So let's see how it goes. I, I'm crossing my fingers that it'll work. I also found a powdered bleach that is color safe. They call it a new, well, not call it, they say it's a new improved formula. Now, we've had this here, and it didn't do much in the past. So at my Dollar Tree, I found it last year, and I tried it. It didn't really whiten my whites. I'm going to try it again and see what it does. It says it's a new improved formula, and it's color safe. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. You get 16 ounces. That is a lot. That is a lot. And then I got a big, big um, Ensueño, really nice smelling. It's a spring fresh, not overdone um, fabric softener. I use these um, fabric softeners not only in my laundry, but on my synthetic wigs. If you're interested in learning more about that, just do a search on YouTube about using fabric softener for your synthetic wigs and hair pieces, ponytails, whatever. So if you are in that arena of wearing hair, um, please look that up. It will literally save you a lot of money from continuing to have to buy new all the time. Um, because as we know, hair costs a lot. So synthetic wigs really do condition very well in fabric softener. So there you go. Um, I also found a great at household. All right. This might be the find of the day. It just might be the find of the day. I have seen these off and on, but we haven't had the oil ones at my store in a very long time. We only have two stores in Plasterville, so we have not had sure sense. And I've been spending a fortune on wallflowers at the Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to give this a try. So I have the plug-in here. Okay, and then I have these little inserts. See, now when I go and get the Dollar Tree wallflowers, they're in glass, and I think these might be, they might, I don't know if they're plastic or glass, but I'm going to see if they're comparable. I had the Amber Woods, it was an Amber Woods smell from Bath and Body Works. I, they didn't call it that, but it was in the Amber family. And the wallflower thing, and it's, I mean, I, after buying everything, it was like 30 bucks. Okay, this is literally $2.50 for these two pieces. If you're on a budget, I'm going to see if these work. I bought two of these, and I bought the plug-in. It's called Sure Sense. And 
I mean, I have nothing to lose for a few dollars. I'm going to see if it works. If you want me to report on if these are comparable to a wallflower, please put a comment in the comments below and I will absolutely report on it and let you know if that works. Okay. If the, if it does that, that, that to me is a true comparable for a fraction of the price that you would get at Bath and Body Works. You know what I mean? So there you go. All right. A little food, not a lot. I don't buy a lot of food at Dollar Tree. I just don't. I'm pretty health conscious. I have my crap Friday, uh, but I, I just, or crap weekend. <laughs> it could be crap weekend, but it, you know, I just really have to be very careful. I have alopecia areata, which is autoimmune issues. And I also have to watch cholesterol, sugar, all that. I don't have any medications, thank you God, but I'm always kind of on that border, and I've taken care of 90% of it, but I just, I had to have these. So these do have carbohydrates, 22 grams of carbohydrates per serving. However, they're, they're not over the top in salt. These honey wheat pretzels, while I'm watching basketball or baseball, with some mustard is really, that's a treat for me. <laughs> that's a treat. Okay. So it's not horrifying. It's not filled with sugar. All right. So I'm doing it. I bought them. Honey wheat penny sticks. Look at how cute the pretzel men. Look at that. So I bought them. And then I had really good luck. I had bought like a fake juice from the Dollar Tree to help me. So I take about a quarter cup of that fake juice and I add lots of water to it. And then I add my probiotic and fiber, which was tasteless with plain water. I just, and I don't want to do orange juice or something with heavy sugar. So I've been buying this stuff and look at how huge this time I got apple. Okay. One gram of sugar, one gram of carbs, uh, five calories. The last one I got was 10 calories. So, I mean, this is great to just flavor your water or your tea instead of doing sugar. It's just an alternative. No, it's not, you know, really healthy, but it cuts back on my sugar intake. So, there you go. I bought that. That is huge, and it's a great deal. Run to Dollar Tree for $1.25. You're getting 64 ounces of something you can flavor your water you can flavor your tea with. There you go. So there's that plug. I also got these gorgeous, look at these gorgeous kitchen towels. Now I live five minutes away from Apple Hill. Apple Hill is famed now, not only for their apples and apple pies, but they're famed now for their hard ciders and their little vintners that we have a whole selection of vintners up here. And I just thought these were so gorgeous. You use these as what we call a mopine. So rather than a typical dish towel, this can be used if you're serving wine, cheese, crackers, um, and do you know, and doing just like a little company. This is great for that. It's just beautiful as a mopine. Yeah. It, a mopine is, um, you know, larger than a napkin and um, can be used as a dish towel, but they're usually decorative and are used very, very well when wine tasting at home or having, you know, um, you're serving some special things to uh, just a few guests. So this is a really nice, or if you're having a hot date, yeah. Yeah, those are beautiful. Look, I mean, those are just gorgeous. So I got those. Then I'm going to move into more clean. So here's another cleaning. I, I saw one person haul this and I, it was on my wish list. So this is a wish list item. It is a multi-purpose cleaning paste for indoors, outdoors, kitchen, uh, laundry room, um, bathroom. I'm going to use this on grout and I'm going to try to clean some silver pieces with this and see what happens. But this is a really nice product, and I just, oh, I think it has a protective 
Yeah, it has a protective. But see, it's a it's like a powder. It's a powdery paste. It has no scent to it whatsoever. And I am excited to see what this will do to clean up some silver and or grout. Again, if you want to know if this works for me and how I used it, put a comment in the comments below and tell me if you're interested in either that or if this new Sure Sense is comparable to Wallflowers at Bath & Body Works. Let me know if you want any of these products reviewed. Let me know. Put a comment in the comments below and I'll do it. Um, another huge find was their lightweight spackling. Now this can be added to paint to make a chalk paint, but I like to use it obviously to fill in the little holes from moving pictures around in my home. I like to change things up from season to season and the lightweight spackle goes a long way and for a dollar 25 versus buying it for five or six bucks at home depot i'll do it all day long so yeah run to dollar tree from your uh, little home repair supplies i'm telling you it's a deal it's a deal it's a deal fantastic i also found in the floral section which also could be um used for crafts but these needle point pruners so these are good for your smaller clippings, but I also use these to clip cardstock for my crafts and to um, remove packages, so to open up packaging on difficult stuff. Yeah. So these are worth their weight in gold, $1.25 versus going to Home Depot, finding them for six, seven, eight bucks. Run to Dollar Tree for these home supplies. Really, very, very nice. Needle point garden shears. Yeah, for pruning. Fabulous. I also found heavy duty duct tape. Yes, indeed. Heavy duty duct tape. I found the original super glue epoxy format. And you get two for $1.25. Yes. Uh, super glue gel form. So super glue is expensive at my grocery store and at Walmart. So I found them and I grabbed them for $1.25. You get two per pack. You can't beat it. Um, and I've used those before. I don't even need to review these. These work. These totally work. They totally work. Um, okay. Moving, okay, wait, look at this. So I've hauled this before in the past, but spring is coming, baby. But I have my hummingbirds all year long. These last about three to six months. I would say six months is your benchmark for, for these lasting. These do so much better than the expensive ones at my Home Depot. I, I can just, I, I can't, I mean, I can't believe the value of these little hummingbird feeders. They're fantastic. Just fantastic. Run to Dollar Tree for those. Spring's coming. You got to get them. Okay. I found another amazing item for spring. Amazing. Look at how adorable this is. This says America the Beautiful. Look at that bike with the flowers in it and the red and blue. So this is a, a little sock that's going to go on my deck. If you are on a heavy budget and you want to decorate your little balcony and you want to put some color because we've had a really rough winter, just go to Dollar Tree. You won't be disappointed. They had so many different wind socks right now and flags. Run to Dollar Tree for $1.25. You can't beat it. I saw wind flags, uh, uh, flags and uh, socks, the little twirlers, down the street from where I live, and they were $35. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these will last one season and fade, but I don't care. I am I can buy these all day long. Yeah, so I got that. I also found, okay, these were on my wish list. I hadn't seen these in so long, and I literally was at Walmart the other day and they're non-slip uh, rug holders 
rug underlays were so expensive for $1.25. I'll put two of these together and that will fit my rug. That will fit my rug. Yeah. So these are 18 inches by 28. They're not huge. Let's see. So these are just for a small area rug, but if I put two together, they're going to hold my larger rug down just fine. They will hold the larger rug down just fine. Yeah, I mean, it's for a small area rug. It's like for a bath mat or whatever. But two of these on the end of my runner are going to be perfect. And I mean, $250 versus $10, $15. Bucks. I'm not kidding. At my Walmart, I was blown away. So you can put several of these together or just use one and cut each corner and mount that to your rug, and I'm telling you, it will work. I've done it before in my massage room at work, literally just recently. Um, so yeah, I got two of those, two of those. There's so many uses for these grips. If you have um, like glassware that you're worried about, tipping over a vase, mount some of this with super glue on the bottom of your vase and it won't slip around. Very, very smart. Okay. Yeah. All right. We got that. Uh, let's go ahead. Ah, look how beautiful these are. All right. I got two games. I got the equivalent to Jenga, right? Adorable. But these can be used for any any wood craft. So if you're a crafter and you like wood bits, these are perfect for that. So they come in that size. Okay? But what a fun activity. Yes. Date night. Playing with your kids. You know what I'm going to do with these wood pieces? I'm going to make, I'm going to make several votives to hold my little candles. Yeah. So I have these little glass votives. They're really small. And I'm going to make little square holders to put them inside. That is what I'm doing with these. But what a fun game. What a fun game. And $1.25 for all that wood. You can't beat it. If I tried to buy wood blocks at Beverly's, that would cost three times, four times as much. All right. I found something so cute. I, another game. I could not pass it up. Okay. So Monopoly. But I looked inside. I opened it up and I looked inside. How cute is this little board? It is actually a little board. It's a flexible board. And I'm going to mount it on some poster board to strengthen it. But how cute is that and the little money oh my god i'm a miniature freak so oh my god the miniature money and these are the little forms that you you get stickers and you put your stickers on these forms oh my gosh how adorable this uh, your little rules <laughs> i love it more rules and directions or whatever you want to call it adorable and last but not least, all of the cards that you need to play your Monopoly game. All the cards that you need are right here. Railroads, all of it. So for $1.25, I'm going to create the cutest, the cutest Monopoly set ever. Absolutely. 100% going to create a Monopoly set that is sturdier than what's provided. Look at that little money. Is that not the cutest thing you ever saw? So, Monopoly. Monopoly. It's by Color Forms brand. And I mean, if your kids are, if you're traveling with kids on Easter vacation or you're not going somewhere, you're doing a staycation and your kids need active and you want to, oh my God. Again, date night on a budget. How adorable is that? I mean, I swooned. I swooned. I just, that is so cute. 
I'm going to make the ki most killer little set out of this. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this baby up. All right. I also found, um, I found the most beautiful pink ones. They have these all year round. I love these. They're poured in Mexico. These are fantastic. They don't burn a seven full days, which they're supposed to. They burn about five to six days, but these are phenomenal. And see that it comes like that, but I take the plastic off so that they're nice full glass. You can decorate these any way you want, um, but just as a utility candle in the in the winter months when the power goes off and on, these are fantastic. Yes. Um, boring gas pills. They're always there. I've hauled them a million times. They're for my clients at work when they come in and they lay face down for their massage and they just go, Ugh. so I give them those. Those are literally in a dish with the little, little grippers and they, they can take what they want. Um, okay. I found some hair dye and I'm going to experiment on a wig. I have a darker wig. So with my alopecia areata, I have hair pieces, wigs, toppers, all that. And this is going to dye a very dark black wig. And I'm just, it's not an expensive wig. So I'm just going to see how it goes because I don't want to, I don't want to take this wig to a professional. It's just, it's not expensive enough to, to warrant that. So I'm going to try to do it at home. I just want to lighten it up and make it a red color. And I think this might do it. So I'm going to give it a try. If you are on a budget and you need hair dye for something, there you go. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see. It's called Color, color Easy. Okay. Um, allergy Relief. I've hauled these before. These are the equivalent to Allegra. My grocery stores seem to be out of Allegra. So I've been buying them at Dollar Tree. It's not a screaming deal. You only get four. But because they have them, I'm buying them. There you go. Okay, cool item. I found petroleum jelly that's paraben free. This is worth its weight in gold in the winter time for your hands and your feet. And I add lotion to it maybe a drop of essential oil of lavender and chamomile, and I'm good to go. But, oh my God, petroleum jelly for $1.25, and it's paraben-free. No, um, yeah, no parabens. So how sweet is that, right? Now, I've also used this, don't laugh at me, I've used this on a wood board that I don't use for food. I just, it's a wood board that I use decoratively. And I just, a little bit of that ha has just shined up that wood so nice. And um, it, it works as a great polisher for my, for my wood. It's just a wood little, um, it's like a tray. And so I've used it for that too. But for the body, this is a skin protectant. And I rub it all over my hands with lotion and some essential oil and my feet. And it is absolutely fantastic. Um, I found a larger bottom of their vitamin C serum. I've been hauling various vitamin C serums from Dollar Tree for a while. I add it to my retinol at night. And it helps keep blemishes down and um, skin discoloration. And it's just an all-over brightener, but this is a lot. And so I'm going to try this one. Yeah. I don't know the brand. Let's let's take a quick look. So this is um, Skin Nutritions Botanicals. Skin Nutritions Botanicals. And it is um, paraben-free and phthalate free. Um, it's vitamin C 1% and an, indi an indispensable nutrient for collagen production. A stable form of vitamin C blends in our advanced formula designed to target and reduce the appearance of most common signs of aging, dark spots, sunspots. So I'm using it for sunspots and scarring left behind from, you know, wearing a mask in the past. So there you go. There it is. 
I just want to thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I want to thank you for being here and for watching. If you like Dollar Tree hauls, please, please, please join my small, tiny, intimate channel um, and hit that subscribe button and share it. Help me grow and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload. I upload every Sunday without fail, cross, fingers crossed, uh, amongst a few other things. Uh, but 99.9% of the time, you're going to only see Dollar Tree hauls every Sunday. That is what I can do with my busy schedule. And that's what I love to do. And I love sharing it with you. So please, again, uh, like, share, and subscribe and help my little channel grow just a little bit. It's an intimate channel. And I love doing them unedited. So there you go. Have a fabulous Sunday and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.